Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you so you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Well, hello. Welcome to today's book look with your host with the most. That's right. In the pre-recorded introduction, you hear me say hostess with the mostess, and people gave me crap because hostess is a woman, and I'm not, but I could. B, I guess. I don't know. So host with the most is what I'm going with. Thank you for joining me. I am Andy Smith, your 31-year veteran of the comic book industry, drawing for every major publisher and more. Um, now, doing my own thing, finally, after all these years, working on my own book, First Man, Superhero for a New Generation. You'll love it. Check it out. Action, adventure, comedy, and more, and great art, of course, if I do say so myself, and I do. Link in the description below. Please check it out and reserve your copy now. Today, we're looking at a Golden Age series called Mr. Universe. I found this years ago. There were only four issues. But what I found fascinating is this was uh, published by uh, Ross Andrew and Mike Esposito, who would become a penciling inking team at DC on books like Wonder Woman uh, and more. I mean, they worked on a ton of stuff. In fact, tomorrow's pub or no, Hermes Press put out a book called uh, Andrew and Esposito Partners for Life. Um, yeah, not quite sure about that part of the title, but uh, we will do this on another book look today. I just want to focus on these four issues of Mr. Universe to go over with you guys. Um, Ross Andrew, you might know, eventually drew uh, Superman vs. Spider-Man for DC and Marvel Comics, one of their first crossovers. Had a long run on Spider-Man at Marvel. Like I said, worked on Wonder Woman stuff. But these gems, I don't know how I even found these. It was probably through that book. These are Golden Age, which means they came out. We will see the date in a second. 1951. There you go. And I just, you know, I've always loved bodybuilding and, you know, I do work out. I'm not quite a bodybuilder, but as a little kid, I was always fascinated by wrestling and stuff. And I saw this title, Mr. Universe, and I just love this cover. Uh, I love the, the art on it, so I had to buy it. Uh, these are kind of brittle because they're old and we'll just flip through them. I did read these back when I got them a decade or so ago. I don't remember much about them anymore. Volume 1, number 1, Media Publications, Inc. The name of the company that was created by Ross and Mike. And uh, that looks like Mr. Universe there, getting his uh, getting action on. You know, back in the golden age, it was a lot of grids and stuff like that. Not the layouts that I do and other artists do today, but still great drawing in these books. Very well drawn. Uh, I'm pretty sure the story was fun. I don't remember the story. I love the wrinkles right here on that guy's arm on his jacket. Love the cartooniness. Look at that goofy face. Great expressions, real fun storytelling. Here you have uh, Apollo, Hercules, Mercury, Jupiter, Mars. 
really nice stuff here. I want to say there's workout tips in the back of this. I'll have to, uh, I guess we'll find out. Because like all the book looks, I just grabbed stuff and decided to go through them. Look, a little history on wrestling through the ages. I said you can't learn anything from comics. Uh, another shot of Miss Universe Battles the Syndicate. Uh, Mort, Morta Larrero. Oh, I'm so bad. Reading is fundamental. Morta Larrero, I believe, is the artist on this one. It wasn't Ross. Love that face. The simplicity of this stuff. This was a pretty inventive layout for the time period. Look, you, you, you Mystery Universe Club News. This is a book I wouldn't mind trying to find a nice, uh, nice, uh, just this first issue. Nice condition copy of, but it would probably be kind of expensive. I mean, this book itself was like 60 bucks in the condition I have it in, which isn't great, but it's not awful. Oh, no workout tips in this one. I thought there were. Here's issue two. It's like, hey, Mr. Universe goes to war. Look at that popping out through the cover. What's that remind you of? Uh, it reminds you of uh, Giant Size X-Men. That's what. Andrew Esposito, story by H. Cantor. Yeah, holding himself a gun. In today's uh, Marvel Comics, that would be a, uh, a bat. Because, you know, guns are bad, okay? Guns are bad. You can't be drawing them guns. Look at this stain here. And this was like a $45, $50 book, too. I love this goofy guy. Look at him here with his cauliflowered ears. Dude's been in some fights. Has a little bit of a Milk Kniff vibe going on with some of the inking. And this was a young uh, Ross Andrew doing this stuff. 1950, I think Ross was born somewhere in the late 20s, early 30s. Again, I, I never do my homework before. I should have looked that up before to see. It's the Mystery Universe News Club. Nice little commercial break in the story. Then we get back to the story. Look at how much dialogue is on these pages. This is not decompressed storytelling at all. This, you got your money's worth back then. The amount of uh, story packed into this book. The Arena. That's the letters page for back then. New figure mold. Hide a waste. That's right. Do you need to mold your figure? Are you a little chunky around the waist? Well, don't worry. Get yourself hide a waste. You know, hide a waste away here's number three another awesome cover uh i want to know how do i know this is number three because it doesn't must be on the inside i remember there's only four issues of this thank god because i would break the bank if i tried to get way more great splash page look at these unique faces right here oh number three says it right there Love this. I love this figure right here. This dude uh, walking the proportions. It's like Captain America. Look at that goofy face. The cartooniness with the small skull. But then he's got these realistic dudes here, but it all works nicely together. Great big bold brush inking. Beautiful, just great craftsmanship in this stuff. 
this dude great camera angle love the flat color just the little blue knockout here focuses you right here in the background Uh, Scarcely's Dilemma. One strike. Obviously, he's not that smart of a guy because uh, look at the way his sign looks. But look at this. Just the wrinkles in this coat. This dude is so cartoony with his stubby legs. He's your typical doofus type character. Really looks like a megaton man with the way the head is. Man, that's so Don Simpson looking Megaton Man creator. I wonder if Don has seen this stuff. Hey kids, look for this seal. Mr. Publications. It's a shame this only lasted for the uh, four issues. Once again, this is a book I would love to see uh, collected. I wonder who owns the rights to this stuff. Oh, I can't remember what that's called, but he's going to beat him over the head with it. The end. I swear I thought this had some workout stuff in it. Maybe in the fourth issue. Look how beat up this is. Look at that. You know what? I might slap a piece of tape across that. What do I care? I'm never selling these. I don't know. Mr. Universe goes to war. Say it isn't so. Volume one, number four. I wish it made it to five. Oh, I, th I don't know if uh, this is... Ross Andrew Arc, because it says by Walter T. Johnson's studio. And all the previous issues said Andrew and Esposito. So I don't know if, uh, if this one is drawn. I want to say it is. Once again, you can uh, yell at me for not doing my research beforehand. That doesn't really look like Ross, though. That's a shame, but I'm a completist. Oh, look at that splash page. <laughs> Announcing the most sensational bout in wrestling history, Mr. Universe versus Mr. Universe. Wow, that is great. For 1950s art. So freaking cool. I love the black fading down on the legs here as the light goes down and stuff and the forms fade to black like that so nice this original art you just wonder if it's out there this is also a time period where art wasn't worth anything and it might have just been thrown away this looks like ross andrews art the faces and stuff love these eyebrows just the nose the mouth the way all this stuff is done the wrinkles I'm a big fan of guys that know how to really do uh, good wrinkles and stuff. Really wish this was reprinted. Man, I thought... I have another book. It's not Mr. Universe, obviously... It's another Golden Age book. I'll have to look for it. Um, but it's along the lines of, you know, uh, uh, buff dude, whatever. But in the back, I'm pretty sure it shows, like, perfect proportions for a man. I think I remember talking to Graham about it, going, Graham, do you think these are perfect proportions? Yeah, it's definitely not Miss you. Look at this. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. That's that covers hanging on by a thread. Got to be gentle with these old books. In fact, look at this flakes of old books coming off. Wow, Mr. Universe. I hope you guys enjoyed this trip down memory lane. 
Uh, like I said, another book look coming up. I will go through Andrew and Esposito, Partners for Life. Let's see real quick if we can see when uh, uh, Ross was born. See if it says in here. Ten things I never told my uncle Mike Esposito. Oh, introduction Ross and Mike and me. So the guy that wrote this, he was ten years old when he picked up. Oh, look at this! Real quick, just look at that. What's that from? Submariner thirty-seven. I'm pretty sure I have that issue. Oh, Mike Esposito was born in 1927. All right, let's see if we can find out when Ross was born. Come on. Ross was born in 1927, so look at that. And he unfortunately passed away in 1993. Not that old um, when he passed away. But he was born in 27. This came out in 51. Let's see a comic artist do math. He was uh, uh, 30 to 51 is uh, 21 plus. Tw wow. He was only like 24 and he did that stuff. Wowzer Bowsers. Okay, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. Look, looking through Gold Age Comics, Mr. Universe uh, by the team of Ross Andrew and Mike Esposito. I'm your host, with the most, Andy Smith, 31-year veteran of the comic book field, drawing tons of stuff. Check out my website, andysmithart.com. Please go reserve your copy of my book, First Man. You will love it. I guarantee it. Superhero action and fun for a new generation. Uh, it's guys like these that inspired me to want to draw comic books in the first place. I will be back later for another book look. Enjoy your day, enjoy your life, like and subscribe to my channel. Hola, goodbye, next time. Bet First Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.